This is Barracuda Buzz coming at you. And we're doing some work on the CUDA. You might think that this thing is done and it's wheeled out. Well, you're right. Yeah, Brian Speezy done it. But I got to do some, some more shit to it. And I got to touch up some spots and stuff like that. So we're going to cover that today on Buzz's Garage. show you guys what I got done so far. I got the deck lid on. I got the bumper on. Uh, just this piece of shit bumper because I got a new one coming in and I got to get the bumper at uh, these uh, little brackets re-chromed. So I got to get that shit together. These bumpers are different. The 1973 bumpers are different. They come with the rubber bumpers on there and these brackets they don't sell no more. I got to bring them in and get them re-chromed. That rear end, and I'll put that valance on, and that whole, this whole frickin' back end is done. And I'll start putting all the side marker lights on. So that's it. But so let's get going on what we need to do, and that is... Wheel out the car! And I just dusted it from lint and all that other shit, and we're gonna wheel out some touch-up spots. But I just see the top, it looks like it's done, but you look in the depth, and the depth, real depth of it, it still needs to be wheeled out. So I'm, I'm gonna tackle that one, and that's right in the middle. So, Brian Speezy, where are you? Gee! We're getting ready to do the assembly on the car. We got the, every, the dashboard, you can see, is covered up everything. We're getting ready to do all this shit. In order to do all that, we have to polish out this car. We have to wheel out everything that we need to do that we didn't catch the first time with compound set one. Then we need to get step two down, which is finesse, with the gray waffle pad. And then we're gonna go to the white waffle pad, or my mistake, the blue waffle pad, and use polish. Get some sort of coating on this car. Gee! I'm working on sections at a time. So that's what you wanna do, is work on sections at a time on this vehicle. We are gonna do that with the regular compound and the white wheel. So we'll start off in some small area here, and I notice some scratches. And you'll lightly just fill it up so it don't splash around in. Yeah, we can see that we're getting these scratches out very uh, slowly, but we're getting it. Now the camera ain't doing no justice because you can't see, but you look deep inside on the right angle, and you look up on angle, so you can see the, the dust there, but you look on that angle like that, and you can see dull spots and everything else in this type of light and that's what we want to go for. We want to try to get out what scratches that uh, we put in while wet sanding. Gee! Now uh, you see how I was doing it. The wheel's spinning this way. So we want the edge to spin off. You don't want to spin into it because you'll burn the edge. Now we'll use this little fine one. Get in here.
kind of always the stop and see where we're at. Now, the reason why I did that is because less burn marks are going to pin it like that and carefully to come out. Well, you can see that using that little hand buffer comes in handy. And I put my finger in between there to adjust the speed, my thumb actually. See? I can keep it at I can keep it at a steady speed that way. But if you don't do that, it'll go too fast and you can burn through, so. Gee! Now we got everything rubbing compound, the first stage, done. All the spots done. So now we're, we're going to wipe down everything clean and we're going to use finesse in stage two. We'll get the gray waffle pad out, get that down. We want to get a coating of polish on this car. You know, it's been six months. It's breathable. It's, it's curing. You know, uh, get some polish on there. Uh, some finish so it doesn't get scratched so easy and and there's some protecting on that on that clear coat Thanks. hopefully you got something out of this it's purely for you guys out there following me on the CUDA project and at least you know that it's important during before assembly of the car the rest of the car the whole car the windows the louvers the, all that other shit that you just wheel out spot wheel if you got to the compound and wheel out this car it gets a polish on it so it's a little bit protected and you'll be better off situation as my friend Pete would say. Gee! Now we're finished up with the final step, which is the third step, which is the glaze. And we polish that in, and this is it. We got all the swirls out, we got all the scratches out, we got a, a coating on here that that is uh, somewhat protective, at least to... Uh, keep some of the scratches off from rubbing up against it and things like that and it's good enough to get rolling and start assembly on the car just keep on looking for my videos coming out and follow me on the old CUDA project and we'll look forward to seeing you next week Jeez!